My next video will be a video on a serpentine belt install for a Mark Cruiser 5.0 V8. Okay, so the first thing you want to do here on a serpentine belt replacement, Mark Cruiser 5.0 V8. The belt number 57 865 61 5. Q04 should be a pretty quick and easy install but that's the belt that I have um, and one thing to note if you don't aren't sure of the uh, belt you need there's a number should be on your serpentine belt and that's the number you need to give to your boat shop or that's the number you need to uh, search online and same thing with your hoses here. When you need to replace a hose, there's a, a number on there that you're gonna have to give a reference anyway. All right, let's do a quick uh, serpentine belt install here. Put that camera up there like that. All right. So, Right here is my pulley. This is a 5 8 connection or a 5 8 socket I'm using. Couple turns. Loosen that up. The belt comes loose. belt looks all right um it looks good enough to keep as a spare so i won't throw this belt away i will keep it on the boat as a spare just in case something happens to the new belt okay here's my boat belt number again now when i put these on I like to start here in the middle and of course pretty much most people know there's a flat side and then there's the uh, the rib side and this side here is gonna go wherever you see these little ribs that means this side needs to match that side on the flat side shiny side like this it's gonna go here where it's flat. Okay. One way to know you know that your belt is on there right. Just match the surface. Um, and of course on my new belt, I also have the OEM belt here. And it also has the same number as my old belt. All right, so now I'm gonna start in the middle here and remember how you took your old belt off, take a picture of it. If you don't remember, or if you uh, think you might have a hard time putting your belt back on, just take a picture before you start. So I'm gonna round that around like that. that on there <clears throat> okay yeah I'm a little short here goes make sure it's all on where it's supposed to be right there got my ribs pointing up flat sides here take my 
five inch socket on my pulley here and just crank it. No, you don't want to go too tight, but that's probably tight enough. I'll just give it a little bit of a little nudge again. Yeah, that's about right. You want a little play in there. You don't want it super tight where it's going to snap. And uh, that's about it. Now I'll do a quick test on my Serpentine belt install. 